And now, an important documentary that no man, woman, or child who cares about the outcome of his society should miss. A thriller, an epic, an international report on the rapidly increasing numbers of high schools with Teachers AIDS. Worldwide Productions presents AIDS, a growing problem. And at first I didn't realize there was any problem at all. You can't just condemn a society because of a few minor flaws. We've all got our ideas, but you can't force them on other people. Then all of a sudden, they were there. Almost every one of my classes had a student teacher, an aide. When I went in there, it was empty. I turned around and there were some young college undergraduates. Six, maybe seven, I don't remember. Before I knew it, I had A's. Young man, you have a pastor? Uh, no. I don't. Do Sorry. You have the ID? Could I see your ID, yeah. please? Right here. Why don't you have a pass? Uh, well, I just, uh, I was just, uh... Well, what are you doing in the hole? Don't you... I was talking to these guys. The they were asking me some well, questions. Well, who are these guys? Uh, I don't know their names, just... Sorry. You William Jones? Yeah. You don't know these guys? Uh, and they're strangers no. and you don't, uh, you don't... I didn't really think much of it until I got home. I mean, I knew it could affect me, but I didn't think it would spread to my family. They don't know what can happen to them, and if they don't know, it will. I can guarantee it. There's just no easy way out. Don't you understand that? Don't you understand? I went into my living room, and there it was. It scared the hell out of me. I didn't think it could happen to me. My father was watching old Ronald Reagan movies, and all because of teacher's aides. These young people do not realize the hardest thing about exposing aides is that the students are ill-informed. Let's expose the myths. Well, you can't get AIDS unless you sleep with someone. No, no, it's not true. Actually, you can get AIDS just by thinking about one while undressed. W the worst way is to get one while dreaming about one. Right. But you can always tell if someone is an aid. No, no, it's not true. Actually, AIDS often wear disguises, like this one. You see, Robert's my age. You demonstrate. Is he? Not he Right. But the real test for AIDS is if someone wears a ribbed T-shirt. Yeah, well, sh he's right there. Well, uh, actually, right. See? So there you have it. Right. Now an AIDS victim gives his account of how he contracted AIDS. We're not showing his face, and we've mechanically altered his voice to protect his identity. The Chicago City Council has proposed a system under which AIDS victims could be transported to sanctuaries like tuberculosis carriers 20 years ago. But where could these be? What could a nation possibly do? What, where could they possibly put over 100,000 undergraduate education majors? In places like these. Here. 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 And here. If you'd like more information on AIDS, how to prevent AIDS, or how to open a champagne bottle without little bits of cork flying in, now there's a national toll-free number. The number is 1-800-WORCESTER. Once again, 1-800-W-O-O-S-T-R. To further show the monstrous proportions of the AIDS epidemic, we'll set up a visual demonstration. Think of each of these people as representing 10,000 Americans. If you don't know 10,000 Americans, then think of 6,000 Volkswagens, or 800 trailer parks, or 57 Heinz varieties, or 13 vice presidents, if you can. At any rate, three of these people will be AIDS. Six people in close contact with the three will contract AIDS. The last person will attend New Trier High School. Recently, French scientists have developed a liquid drug that may prove to be an effective AIDS vaccine. Four out of the five experts support the drug and believe it to be effective. Let's visit with the fifth expert. 
No, actually the drug is useless. Oh. Robert? Hmm? No, well, just for AIDS. Right, there you have it. Right. In conclusion, we urge you to be aware of AIDS and not accidentally become one of the millions of students who say, I'm an AIDS victim. I'm an AIDS victim. Hi, I'm a... I'm a... I'm an AIDS victim. Right, I'm an AIDS victim. Uh, I'm a football player. Thank you, and good night. Felice amigos, and uh, welcome to That's Hollywood. I'm your host, Jack Griesdine, and tonight, my latex lassies, we are in for a real treat. All the way from that leaning tower of Pisa place comes the master of French cinema, Mr. Jacques Smith. Mr. Jacques, could you tell me a little about your latest film, Where They Blew? Uh, yes, it's a um, very fine uh, old film uh, featuring uh, Little Eiffel, River Seine, the Moulin Rouge, but it's house of sluts. It's, uh... In other words, it's a porno flick. Well. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Jacques, but isn't the entire cast composed of Smurfs? What? Well, doesn't that lend itself to some problems due to the fact that there is only one Smurfette? Oh, no, 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 you get me wrong. This, this uh, provides a great uh, cinematic uh, device featuring a um, uh, character development, uh, an intimate view of one woman's struggle against 90 In women. other words, Gang Bang City. <laughs> I like it. Oh, what? Uh, I can deal with it, a slutty Smurfette. Well, do you have a clip of this film to show? What? Murphy, roll it. was exquisite. Oh, uh, we must have lunch sometime, my boy. <laughs> well. We'll see you later, my tooth cap cats on That's Hollywood. I'm Jack Griesbein, bidding you good night. Oh, well. <laughs>